What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that you love, you enjoy, you look forward to at the end of every single month and that's because it is the monthly Blu-ray haul. This is where I show you everything that I picked up during the last month, everything. We are talking steelbooks, 4Ks, regular Blu-rays, slipcovers, no slipcovers, the whole shebang. I'm showing it off and even though I said I was going on a budget, the sales were just too good this month and I overspent. I overspent just a little bit, but let's be honest, as a collector, you know it's always going to happen. But the month of August is lighter, so hopefully I won't be spending as much money. So if you're brand new here on my channel and you love and adore physical media, everything to do with movies, then consider hitting that red subscribe down below, as well as that like button, but most importantly, that notification bell, so you don't miss anything in the future. So stay tuned until the very end of the video, because as usual, I will be giving away my digital codes and I will let you know how that works at the very end. And now mind you, the only movies I'm showing you in this video are the ones that I picked up myself. Now I'm not counting the huge generous box, two boxes actually, that Jasmine sent me. So I will actually link that video down below in the description box in case you want to go further and see what else I actually got in the month of July. With both combined, it's over 100 titles. That's how many Jasmine got for me, and that's how many I picked up for myself. I think it's an even split of like 50-50. So I'm going to start with my Steelbooks, my 4Ks, and then go into the Criterion and Arrow titles that I picked up. And then in the next segment will be all Blu-rays, slipcovers, no slipcovers, a couple of DVDs, and then at the very end it will be the digital codes. So let's start off with the steel books. What did I pick up for steel books? One, two, four. I've got four. Not overly crazy. Usually I pick up more than that, but not this month. So number one, we got Doctor Strange 2, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. As you know, Marvel Girl, I pick up everything Marvel on Steelbook. So this was necessary. I did not pre-order it and I had the luck, went into Best Buy, four copies was, were there. So I I was good. I did not have to worry. Next up, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I am loving these steel books. They look fantastic. Great poster artwork. It looks just like that. I love and adore them. I really wish I did not pick up that white box set. <laughs> I really do. Men in Black. Yeah, you know, I still am feeling in kind of a way about Will Smith, but I'm not going to let that sour everything that he's done in the past, let's be honest. It's been a while since I've seen Men in Black, so might as well pick it up. I like the cover artwork. This is the reason why we get steelbooks. The cover artwork looks amazing. There's the back. There is the front. It's a nice looking steelbook. And last but not least for steelbooks, we have Angel Heart, which was sent my way from Lionsgate. Fantastic. Another great looking steelbook from them. I just want them to do all the steel books. I've said it once and I'll say it again. They are so phenomenal when it comes to their artwork. Let me just quick show you. There it is without the slip on the front. There is the back. It looks like, it just looks like a drawing. Like you took a pencil and you did a drawing. It's unbelievable, amazing looking. Okay, now let's get into the 4Ks, slips and non-slips. What did I pick up for 4Ks in the month of July? Okay, here we go. We have the apartment on 4K. This was a part of the Kino Lorber sale. Pick this one up. I enjoy that one. I think it's a very cute movie and I do recommend it to a lot of you out there. Same thing, Kino Lorber, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Never seen it. This was a prime day deal sale. The Shining got it for $9.99. No slip, but that is okay. I was not expecting one. Same thing with It Chapter 2. Had to take advantage of that sale. Species, new release this past Tuesday, so had to pick up this one. Same thing with The Lost City with that nice slip cover. Love it. Edge of Tomorrow. I'm actually looking forward to watching this one because I've heard a lot of great positive things about this movie and it's highly underrated for Tom Cruise, so I'm giving it a chance. Ever since Top Gun Maverick, I'm opening up my mind for Tom Cruise, so I will experience that. 
talk about an experience. I have not yet watched this one, but everything, everywhere, all at once. It's like the movie of the year. Everyone is talking about this, saying it's the best movie they've seen all year. I'm looking forward to seeing what my opinion is. Either I'm going to love it or I'm going to hate it. I know there's probably going to be no in-between on this one. I'm really hoping I love it. Because the hype is there. The hype is so real for that movie. Yes. This is the reason why. The lenticular. That is the reason why I double dipped on Morbius. Okay? Because of the lenticular slip. Let's just move on. The last 4K out of sight finally showed up. Thank you, Lord. There we go. I'm doing this like it's a lenticular and it's not. Okay. So those are all the 4Ks with and without the slips. I'm trying to go a little bit faster this time because sometimes I run just a little bit long. So let's head into the Criterions because as we know, it was the Criterion sale still going on until the end of July and also the Arrow titles that I picked up during the, the Barnes & Noble Arrow sale that they had going on. Woo! Sorry if I go out of frame, but my table is, you know, next to me. I'm, I'm limited with space here. All right, so let's start with Criterions. I only picked up five. I stuck to my goal of what I wanted to do. I limited myself to six, but I did not go with six. I picked up five, and I did get Raging Bull on 4K. I'm so excited to watch this one. I, like, I really, really want to. As soon as possible, I'm going to watch it. The Piano on Blu-ray, The Breakfast Club. I have always gone back and forth about picking this one up on Criterion, and this time around I said, you know what, Susan, just get it. You know this movie, you love this movie. It's in my top ten of all time. It is a double dip for me. I have the steel book of this movie already, but to have it on Criterion, I don't know. It just makes it more complete, don't you think? I, I just, you know, I think of any reason, any reason to double dip on something. But I actually heard from someone that the transfer on this Criterion looks amazing. So I am looking forward to watching this one. And Miller's Crossing. And final, the final Criterion, I picked up Parasite because I only have the regular Blu-ray. I don't have a steel book. I don't have a 4K. So I figure I might as well get the Criterion and then it does have the black and white version as well, so that's kind of like a little bonus. So I thought that just made sense. I know what the movie is. I've seen it. I think it's a great movie. Absolutely fantastic. So I figure I might as well get the criterion of Parasite. Now for the Arrow titles that I picked up, because at the same time that the Criterion sale was happening earlier in the month, the Arrow titles at Barnes & Noble were half price as well. So I took advantage and picked up some copies. Donnie Darko, yet to see that one. Edge of Sanity, looking forward to this one because of Anthony Perkins. I want to see him in something other than Psycho, other than the Norman Bates character. Although he's looking pretty psycho on this cover, I will have to admit that. He's looking pretty psycho. This is one that I love. I love. 16 candles and this slip cover is so nice there's just something about it. it just feels so nice and smooth this is one of my favorite 80s movies of all time and i do have this on blu-ray twice so because of that those will be going and i will only be keeping the arrow copy of 16 candles Okay, now I do have a few Arrow titles that were not a part of the sale, but I did order them. So what came in the mail? Girls Night Out. I heard great things about this one. I am so looking forward to watching this. Mama Blu-ray read the back of it, and she's interested in it as well. So we'll probably have a good time with this one. Much looking forward. And also, Hell High. I love this slip cover. It looks fantastic. Phenomenal phenomenal and then finally last but not least because I am psycho and I had physical media buying regret because I only got the steelbook and not the box set true romance this is the regular 4k as you can see right here I had to it's just, I love arrows box sets they're probably one of my favorite things in my collection they're so amazing what they can do so I had to double dip I had 
have to double dip. Okay, so those are all the Steelbooks 4Ks and Arrow and Criterions, but now we're going into the regular Blu-rays and also some DVDs. Now let's get into the Blu-rays with slipcovers, without slipcovers. Now these are all a combination from Dollar General, the Kino Lorber sale, the Target buy two, get one free. There were so many sales and deals happening in the month of July. A couple of them carried over from June because I didn't open. I ordered them in June, but they didn't arrive until almost July. So I kind of just slid them into July. So I have a lot, a lot of sales and deals were happening. So I had to take advantage. You know me, when I see a sale, I got to go for it. That's any collector though, not just me. Okay. Vampire's Kiss with my man Nick Cage. I heard he's crazy in this movie and I'm so looking forward to watching this one. Love the slip cover. Gotta have that slip. I picked up Duel. This one caught my attention. It seems like it's kind of interesting. I said I don't usually have luck with movies like this. When I say movies like this, movies that are not big releases that go to the theater, straight to video is what I'm saying. So I'm hoping this one is decent. I'm hoping. Fingers are crossed. This is one I picked up yesterday at Big Lots, The Happy Time Murders. Let's just let it go. <laughs> These are all Big Lots. Unsane. This was buy two, get one free. The Guilt Trip. Patient Zero. Passenger. Passengers. There we go. Life. And that is it. All right. I picked up a couple shark movies at Walmart because I had to enhance the shark movie collection because of shark movie month. Almost done, guys. We're almost done. Just wait until I reveal what the theme is for August. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. Picked up Blood Bite. This one was just okay. I wasn't really thrilled with it. And then also Shark Bait. I ranked this one my favorite of the cheesy Walmart titles. So if you want to pick up a cheesy shark movie, pick up this one. That one was decent. Now we're getting to Kino Lorber titles. So I got Untamed Heart on Blu-ray. Love this movie. This is so nostalgic for me. I've seen this movie so many times and I still cry. I still cry every time I watch it. Red Christmas sounded interesting. Bird on a Wire with Mel and Goldie. We'll see how that one is. Let's move the stuff over. Don't want it to fall. Before and After with Meryl Streep and Liam Neeson. First of all, I was intrigued because I didn't even know they were in a movie together. First of all, it was only $4.99 and it sounds like a really great plot line for the film. So I'm excited to watch this one. I was excited that this one came with a slipcover. Play Misty for Me with Clint Eastwood. This one sounds really interesting, kind of like a psycho obsession movie, stalker movie, and I've never seen it. And I love movies like that. I just don't judge me by that. I just enjoy those movies. Okay. <laughs> and then also New Year's Evil with a very nice slip cover. So excited about that. Okay. I believe the rest is Dollar General, random Amazon pickups, and also Target buy two, get one free. So let's bring that over. This one was on sale at Amazon. I had to pick it up. Steel magnolias this movie has so many memories for me absolutely so this was a must i had to get it plus it has olympia dukakis we recently lost her in the past year or so i had to pick it up it's one of my favorite performances of hers this and moonstruck those two movies i absolutely adore her in my boyfriend's back cheesy goodness Safe Men. I honestly picked this up because Sam Rockwell's in it. That's the only reason. <laughs> it's the only reason. Plus, it was also $9.99. So for a new release, I figured that was a decent price. War Games, because I've never seen it. All right, now we're getting into Target buy two, get one free. So we have Stallone, Bullet to the Head, my man Sly. I always, I always need more Stallone. Gotta have more Stallone. The Notebook. Blow with Johnny Depp and Penelope Cruz. Caddyshack. Classic 80s. Weekend at Bernie's. Oh yeah. Cannot wait to revisit that one. Two weeks note two weeks notice with Sandy B. There we go. And this is getting into Dollar General. So we have 
Eraser. That's my best Arnold. I know it's really bad, but Eraser. There we go. Yes Man with Jim Carrey. The Mask with Jim Carrey. And then, okay, that is it for the Dollar Generals. And now these are, I believe, the Amazon Prime deals. Besides the two 4Ks that I picked up, I got He Said, She Said. Love, Simon. Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Cannot wait to watch this again. <laughs> and finally, Deja Vu with Denzel Washington. So those are all of the Blu-rays. That is everything that I picked up in the month of July. But just wait, we're not done yet. Who wants a digital code? Before I get into the digital code giveaway, I actually forgot about two Blu-rays because I watched them because they're shark movies and they did come in this month. So I did want to complete everything and show you what I got. So we have The Reef, enjoyed watching this one. This one was good. And then also 47 meters down, uncaged as well. So a couple of more Blu-rays that I watched. So how do you get a digital code? Rule number one, follow me over on Twitter. Once you're following me over there, then private message me and let me know what codes you are interested in. Send me three choices because more than likely your first choice is going to be gone. So that way, if I have backup choices, I could just very easily send it off to you and there's not a lot of back and forth going on. So with the digital codes, it is first come, first serve, only one per person. And also, I cannot guarantee that these are going to work. However, they should because all the titles are pretty much brand new. And then also, I have extra digital codes because I believe, if I remember correctly, my anonymous donor... I believe, sent me a bunch of digital codes to give away to you guys. So some of these I did not show in this video, but they are up for grabs. So what do I have available for digital codes? Here we go. I have Angel Heart, 47 meters down, uncaged, Men in Black, Morbius. I know you all want that one. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, Edge of Tomorrow, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, The Lost City, Love, Simon, Unsane, The Happy Time Murders. I know everyone wants that one too. Don't fight over it, guys. So these are the ones that I did not show in the video coming up right now. So we have The Green Knight, Elizabethtown, X, The Batman, Reds. I have... I have the entire Indiana Jones franchise. How giving from this subscriber. So Raiders, Temple of Doom, Last Crusade, and also the Crystal Skull. If you want this Indiana Jones four pack, you're getting all of them. Not just one, you're getting four. So whoever messages me first, you got it. And then finally, Ghostbusters Afterlife. So that is my Blu-ray haul for the month of July. Did I go over budget just a smidge? Why, yes, I did. But the sales were so good, I just could not help myself. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you next time.